Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com, and today uh, it's going to be a short video on uh, uh, on RJ45. A lot of people have questions about RJ45s. What are they? Where do we get the name? What do they do? Well, uh, the name comes from Registered Jack 45, and it was set up by the phone company many, many years ago. And basically, uh, the only phone system I know of that ever used an RJ45 was uh, the AT&T. Uh, phone systems that were out there and as you can see uh, uh, this is a mod plug it's not yet been crimped you'd put the wires in there and then use a crimper to punch down uh, or to crimp down on the wires but this is a uh, just a product that uh, by the way that we do sell all these products on our website at cablesupply.com but uh, just to give you a comparison let me grab an RJ11 and show you the difference RJ11 is a small one there and the RJ11 is a six conductor so it has six of these little pins in there that you can see and you can see they're raised because they haven't been crimped yet the wires are not in there RJ45 is considerably larger uh, today the RJ45 is used mostly in um, uh, computer networks uh, so it has been uh, 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 designed now and used uh, in computer networks. In fact, the computer network only uses an RJ45, but will not use an RJ11. And you can see each of the conductors in there, if I can keep that in focus for you. Um, there's eight of them. So there's four pairs that would go into an RJ45. And um, this is an RJ45 jack. Uh, in this case, it's a Cat5e jack. Uh, the uh, Cat 6 jacks have the same amount of pins in them. You can see the pins in there. And uh, you always want to put the pins in the wall jack so the, the pins are on the upper side so the dust doesn't get on them. But if this was crimped down it would fit right in there. And uh, once it was crimped now it won't because the, the conductors haven't been crimped down. But let me show you a, um, a patch cord. This is a computer patch cord. It's either a Cat 5e or a Cat 6, I didn't look. And you can see all the pins, or all the wires in there, have been uh, uh, crimped on the RJ45. And if you look, it will fit right into the jack here at Snap. Nice thing about these patch cords that we sell is they uh, come with boots. That makes it easier for them to, uh, uh, to lace through other cables in a uh, patch panel area. Um, one thing you have to be, or you should be aware of, um, is if you're cabling for the, the older phone systems, and here is the RJ45 jack, and here is an RJ11 um, mod plug that's attached to what they call a line cord. This is for a telephone or a fax machine, modem, things like that. Notice we're only using two pins. They didn't even put the other pins in there. You only use one pair um, on most uh, older phone systems, uh, unless you go way back and then you need a power pair, but in the last 20 years most of them just use one pair. Fax machines and modems only use one pair. If I can get this to focus on there. Um, at any rate, let's see if we can work with this. Um, notice that the RJ11 will fit into an RJ45 uh, jack. So if you're cabling a building and you're thinking, oh, should I cable it for RJ11 or RJ45? It would make sense cabling it for an RJ11. Um, some of the other uh, accessories is if you're making your own patch cords, you would want to use a boot. And this boot slides right over there. You slide your cable, actually you crimp down your cable first, and then you slide your boot over it and go to the other side. You can make your own patch cords. I don't recommend you make your own patch cords. They're too inexpensive. Uh, but anyway, that's an RJ45. Eight conductors, an RJ11 uh, uh, mod plug. The mod plug itself can take up to six um, uh, six wires, uh, what they call three pairs, um, not used for computers, RJ11s. Here's a uh, an RJ45 uh, crimp tool. And as you can see, as I pull out a little bit there, it ratchets down. You uh, you put your RJ11 in there. I'm sorry, your RJ45. You stick it in there, and uh, here it is. 
And then once you feed your cable into there, then you can crimp it down. I don't want to waste a, a mod plug, but you'd crimp it down and it snaps. And then uh, your uh, RJ45 with the wires in it. And if you go anywhere on the internet, you can find a pinout uh, for an RJ45. Uh, um, I think we have some videos on pinouts and, and how to uh, crimp the RJ45. Really handy if you're making your own patch cords or you need uh, different size patch cords, things like that, that uh, you want to make your own. So you buy a bunch of RJ45s, you buy a lot of uh, boots, you buy some cable from us and you can make them at any length you want and they're ready made whenever you need them. Um, here's a modular, what they call a keystone jack for the RJ45 jacks and they just uh, snap in there like that. Um, this is a keystone jack. If you're using this jack for an RJ45 um, uh, use, you know, for computers and all. Actually, this is an RJ11 I'm looking at. Uh, it also is a modular plug and snaps right in, but let me get the RJ45. Uh, here's the RJ45, and if you look, it has the color code. So you don't even have to look it up on the internet. You just use the color code to punch it down. Um, you can actually see the, the 110 uh, punch down area. And again, the color code is here on this RJ11. Uh, and uh, here's a punch down tool. It has a little sharp uh, edge on one side, a flat edge on the other. You would put the cable in and you would push in there. And that noise you hear, that snapping noise, that's when it cuts the cable. So the cable goes in this way, spreads out on both sides. And we do have a video uh, on how to punch down an RJ45. And if you just type in uh, punch down RJ45, we'll actually show you. The last modular plug I want to show you today is a, is a curly plug uh, that's used for a handset. A lot of people confuse this with an RJ11. And... Um, as soon as I find my RJ11 in this mess, uh, it, it is smaller even than the RJ11, if you can see. It's a four conductor mod plug. All these uh, RJs, registered jacks, were all designed uh, back in the early, um, I guess, your, uh, the late 70s, maybe the early 70s, by the phone company. Really brilliant idea. And they work well, still work well today. Both of these are used for voice, obviously. Uh, and then the RJ45, which is a lot bigger than both of those. There's the three together. So this is for jacks. I mean, this is for uh, handsets, uh, telephone handsets. This is mostly used for computers today, no longer used for telephones that I'm aware of. And this is basically a voice RJ11 mod plug used for uh, telephones, fax, modems, analog devices. Um, again, my name is Jim uh, with CableSupply.com and all these parts we showed you today, more than happy to uh, sell them to you. Go to our website which is CableSupply.com. Thank you.